And welcome in, folks, to another episode of uh, Project Zomboid Season 10 with John O'Hare and uh, Richard Loggerson, aka Dick Loggerson. So we've just finished up our uh, fishing excursion. I think there's no hope of finding that uh, motorbike helmet. Um, don't want to be doing that in the dark, at least. So let's get ourselves home. We do have some fuel in the tank, so uh, let's go get those lights on and start the nervous drive back to our domicile you can hear in my voice I've not been too well but uh, I'm sure a cigarette will solve it yeah the, the moodles are looking pretty poor um, it's a bit of a trepidatious uh, journey to undertake in the dark I don't think I want to be doing this with the lights off but obviously having them on may well attract some unwanted attention coupled with the noise of the car that there's one already Oh dear, oh dear, they seem to be uh, growing in numbers, these vagrant arseholes. There's another, some bodies, like more of them. Oh dear, oh dear, Richard, eh? Let's get you home safe and sound, bro. Some skillful weaving in between. I like that, Richard, I like his style. More, more, more. The endless road. But yeah, how you doing folks? This is uh, going to be another um, like collection of videos, I suppose. Um, because we're getting more comfortable in the game, because we've got a base established. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give you full episodes. I'm going to be doing stuff off camera, as I explained. Um, and, you know, dipping and diving in and out to show you what's going on. Um, yeah, hopefully those tosspots don't follow us up here. We want, we want the quiet life. Uh, simple life on our little farm estate. We need more gnomes, that's for damn sure. This guy needs uh, company. He needs people to take over from his watch so that he can get some sleep. Oh, and speaking of sleep, Richard could probably do with some of that himself, right? Dun, 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 dun. We left the door open. There we go. Lovely job. Get those lights off. Lights off. Marvellous. Shut that door, Richard. Shut that gate and keep it shut. There we go. With none and I, they're actually turning that into a play. Um, my brother told me the other day. Um, what's up guys uh, you're joining me Jono and uh, Logerson and um, for the time being we're going to be doing a little bit of repair works on the car so you can see here that the hood is uh, completely busted 0% uh, so we can repair this sucker we have a metal sheet uh, what do we have here So what does this need? Screws, metal sheet, and mechanics too. This one needs propane torch, metal sheet, mechanics to a metal working too. Okay, so we yeah we either use screws without a screwdriver or an electric screwdriver, or we use uh, this one, which is by far the better option, right? 100% for 67%. Cool, let's do that. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can repair. I mean. The engine isn't looking great, but we need mechanics for for that. We do have spare engine parts, so maybe that's something that we can do later. But it really is a bottle cake to to level this up. Uh, I mean, we can't repair this; we can only uninstall it and put a new one in. Um, so we would need, I don't, I guess, all of the windshields are standard. I'm, I'm guessing. Trunk. Right, we need metal working three to repair the trunk. And I think that's significant because I think that affects the boot space, right? Right, 67%. Let's do that as well, hey? Okay, just to try and get that up. The left windows aren't going to work. It's just the bodywork. So the hood. And we can do this again, right? Get a bit more out of it. Might as well while we're here. 78%. So it's the percentage of whatever percent is there, right? It doesn't. 27% of 
78%. So we're never going to get it to 100. So your biggest return is... I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't work one out. But, um, yeah, that's it for now, folks. Um, cut you back in. Right. I must bring you in here because... Um, Someone has actually invaded our base for the first time, which is absolutely dreadful. <coughs> it will not do. We will take her clothes, we will take her skin, uh, that will be her punishment, but uh, yeah, I just thought it notable, worth bringing you in. She's broken my bloody door. What a bastard, eh? Um, didn't even leave us any goodies. How rude. Okay. Hey folks, so we have brought back something interesting, an antique oven that weighs 40, so big back-breaking bit of kit. Uh, so we took this from the local warehouse. Uh, so we're going to try, I don't know, setting it up, seeing what it can do. Um, I don't know where the best place for it would be. Probably to like knock out this and put it in here or something. Um, <coughs> but for the time being, maybe we can place it down. Here, maybe? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Could put it in the shed, but, uh, you know, let's stick it here and see what happens. So, I mean, I had fuel. Oh, okay, cool. So this acts like a fireplace, which is wicked, actually. So, I mean, we have the generator, so we can use the oven. But if we want to, we can stick wood. Find a use for the fucking millions of tree trunks that we're finding. Let's stick them in here. Alrighty, that's it for now. And... Just as I say that, we're out foraging, um, and we see some, you know, horrible looking people mooching about, and uh, one of them has the courtesy to leave us a, a bulletproof vest. I think the one that we have on us at the moment does have a hole in it, our other one had two holes, so it's a bit deceiving, you, you sort of look at it and it says bite defense, scratch defense, bullet defense, right? Whereas if you actually inspect it, it will tell you something different. So half of it has that, where there's no hole. But any holes uh, essentially render it useless, right? And if it had two holes in it, and it was a zero, zero, it would still tell you on the face of it that it had this uh, defense, which it doesn't, because when you go into the actual, um, when you actually consult, when you press P and you, and you look at your protection, it doesn't quite uh, marry up. Although it's got upper torso, lower torso 100% but you look at the lower torso right so bite defense 45% was it 75 for the upper uh, so if we go and check our vest again <coughs> inspect you can see that the lower 45% is the one that has the hole in it so it doesn't quite have that 30% uh, bite defense there we go today's lesson uh, done and dusted. And very shortly after the last snippet, we just made a level in foraging, uh, which is cool. And in doing so, we found our very first eggs, uncooked, hunger minus seven. So that's beautiful, right? Uh, let's eat some berries and let's carry on. We are really looking for chipstone, but anything that we can eat is also going to be uh, useful. I'll catch up with you soon. And uh, hello folks, I'm bringing you in here, we have a, an egg stir fry, we found some egg foraging which is kind of cool, uh, we have some gravel bags, so I'm just, I'm interested in something here, uh, I mean this is probably going to be way way too much, let's try that for starters, uh, smoke, we've created like another little part of our driveway, I believe if you put wooden floors down it means that um, plants and uh, trees and shit won't grow up through it, but I wondered whether we could kind of pour out gravel from these bags on top of the, um, the wood and see what happens. I don't know if this is more like sand over here. But you know, this doesn't look too bad, right? It's kind of annoying to have the, the edge line there of the of the grass. Oh gosh. 
need to finish what he's doing, doesn't he? I think if you pour the gravel down without making the wooden floor, then it doesn't really do anything, you know. Or it does do something, but the the plants can uh, can grow through. You know what I mean? Let's put the empty sacks in here. Sorry, sacks. So hang on, was that it? Was that all the gravel that we had? Did we not have any? No, they're on the they're on the floor. Okay, cool. I think we're probably going to have leftover gravel in that case. Pour out gravel. I wonder if it makes the stone disappear. No, it doesn't. Okay, it's annoying, but never mind. I don't know if there's any way to make that disappear. Okay, cool. Well, it looks a bit shit, but... Because it doesn't look rounded, it doesn't look smooth, but... At least we've got our little turning circle. Um, yeah, we can start to build our bar and all the rest of it. Um, <coughs> plenty of stuff on the agenda, and, uh, and that's it for now. Well, there we have it. <coughs> we tried to take a hunting knife to a uh, to a big old posse fight, and it, uh, we got grabbed. We got grabbed, and uh, and they were on us too quick. Schoolboy stuff. <coughs> End of a long road. We were building a road. We were building a road between uh, where we live and the golf club. We were planning to spend uh, Christmas there, but uh, you know, pipe dreams pipe dreams my friends but uh, it's on to the next isn't it new pastures new beginnings um, yeah and I, I fancy another challenge so uh, we'll see what the next season what the next episodes bring thank you all very much indeed I'm sorry I didn't have this last one on record but uh, you know how it is it's just construction construction sleep eat shit and all the rest of it so um, yeah and then the, what, by the time they grabbed me it all happened so quick but I really appreciate you, uh, your attention, folks, and your input, and I'll see you in the next one. Nice one. Goodbye.